Hey man, don't worry, I called the ambulance for you. We kind of weld some bolts together to <laughs> make this work, so. What's up, brother? What's up, buddy? Drove the old girl out here, I see. Yep, yep. Finally yep. street legal. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Got her plated. It was the easiest thing I've had to do with this car, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> I was in and out of there probably 15 minutes. Dude, guess what? What's up? I'm going to be getting electric in the shop, finally. Finally. We've been running off extension cords. It comes from the uh, old work area over there. And then uh, the lighting situation. I mean, we're just not going to talk about that. So it's been pretty rough. Got to turn off everything in the shop when we go to do something like weld or run fans or something like that. So it, uh, I mean, it's been long awaited. So we're getting legit slowly but surely. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. That's right. Today we're here with Stage Fright. We've got a brake booster delete we're going to be working on. It's our main project for today. Got a few other odds and ends. See how it goes. Yeah, we might get to get this thing on the road today and uh, give her a little test rip. So super stoked on getting this thing ready. I think the call is going to be going to Sumter next weekend. So I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but that's you know, the plan. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can. So yeah, after that we got Lakeview uh, in two weeks for the SCRA series. So uh, we'll be in the white car for that one. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming up that's pretty exciting. So. That's gonna be what we're getting rid of today. We're gonna to be taking that out. Um, I got the fuel pressure regulator mounted. Another quick update. Reed got the, uh, the radiator supports mounted. Yep, got the, got the radiator done as well. So don't really got a whole lot left to do. So for the, uh, for the people who don't know, why do we, why do we get rid of the, the brake booster? Yeah, I mean, really it's just driver preference whether you want a brake booster or not some people run the hydraulic brake and some don't you know i mean it's always been my preference not to have it so we're getting rid of it save a little weight and uh yeah normally we uh we don't really do an instructional video kind of just wing it but you guys will be getting a treat today we're gonna be going over what's going on with the brake booster delete and how it works yeah i got the measurements written down on the table right here not really sure which one of them actually is the rod length for the like engaging the piston for the master cylinder but we kind of weld some bolts together to <laughs> make this work so they actually make a kit for this and everything but you know here at import outlaws we try to keep it budget friendly we do all of this stuff out of pocket so uh yeah we're gonna do it the poor man's way so we're gonna go ahead and get started get this thing drained and ready to pull we'll show you what we got all right, so Reed's up in here folded like a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, I'm super comfortable right now. This is how I prefer to work on cars. Probably want my back so messed up. But got all that stuff out. Now we just gotta finish cracking those lines and get them off the master cylinder and we'll be ready to come out. Yeah, stuck onto the the brake booster. I give you the old trusty hammer. Oh, thanks. Probably has some brake fluid that's been leaking out of it. You can see where it's rusted around the, the booster right there. So when that happens, usually they get stuck. Tacky tap comes right out. Hey. All right. What happened? Oh my God, we got an injury. What happened? I need to tighten the shot. So we got the master cylinder out. 
this brake booster is loose. So we just gotta work it out of there and then I'm gonna show you guys what we do to kind of make a backup plate for the master cylinder. Hey man, don't worry, I called the ambulance for you. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. You're gonna die, man. <laughs> all right, got you all fixed up, we're ready to go. Give me a thumbs up. God dang it, Brandon. Can't have nice things around here, I tell you. All right, so now we gotta build a plate to cover up that hole. We're gonna cut that in a four and a half by four inch square. That way it'll give us something to back up the master cylinder so that this rubber seal doesn't pop out. And then um, we can run some bolts through the firewall and the plate to mount. So I do remember what these measurements are for now. The four and a half by four is for the plate. And I think four and a quarter is what we cut the rod length to. Uh, we're gonna cut it to four and a half just to make sure though. That way we can trim it if we need to. All right, so this is what we're gonna be using to build a rod to go from the brake pedal to the master cylinder. You need something to act as a plunger still. Uh, we got a short bolt right here, a longer bolt. Uh, we're gonna weld them together at the heads and then this will screw into the brake pedal and that will go into the master cylinder. So um, it's important that we do it like this because if not, if this length is too short right here and this is too long, uh, you don't want the part that you welded hit in the back of the master cylinder. So uh, it's important that you actually have something going into there because that's you know what acts as a plunger. All right, so this is the top of the brake booster right here. Uh, we're gonna make it four and a half inches this way and then four inches that way. So what I do is I just kind of measure a half inch past the bolt. Got a half inch right here. This is gonna be kind of our end mark going in this direction and our mark going in that direction. This is not a perfect science. So uh, you gotta kinda, gotta kinda make it and then trim it a little bit. So um, gonna do the same thing over here. <clears throat> gotta mark at four. And then we should be good to mark it out and start cutting. You out here helping? You gonna do this cutting for me? Hey, you gonna do the little helping? That's not helping, that's just beating on my toolbox. So we got the brake booster all marked up, ready to cut. Reed's got his safety squints on, ready to go. So I got three sides of this thing cut. Uh, I do want to mention something. There, there's a spring behind uh, this little part of the like what we're cutting. So you do want to try to put something on there to keep that thing from popping out. Um, it's nothing like too crazy, but it probably could hurt you if you weren't ready for it. So we're just gonna throw a little strap around it to hold it in place, and then we'll cut this last edge right here, and this piece will come out. All right. Well, I got a zip tie, I'm gonna throw a zip tie around it, hold it in place, and then we'll be good to go. Man, oh, you just gotta it. always seem to come up short, huh? <laughs> it's not the first time I've heard that. Should do the trick. All right, maybe we didn't get cut all the way. You need the hammer? <laughs> hammer solves everything. Got a new wastegate spring for the skyline. Plus 10 horsepower. Let's see that thing. 
All right, so it's a little, a little hot right now, but uh, I'm gonna round the edges. We gotta trim this backside off of it, uh, knock these bolts out, and then we'll be ready to start putting it back in the car. Alright, so we got the studs drilled out. Uh, there is a stitch weld right there and right there. We'll drill out and then these two pieces should separate. We want to try not to go too deep on these because you don't want to drill through that plate on the back side. I don't know what's it saying. Just the tip? <laughs> yeah, just the tip. All right, so we got those two pieces separated. Um, we ended up grinding the back side of those uh, bolts off. You know, you saw me trying to drill them out, but even after we drilled them out, they didn't, they wouldn't come off. So uh, they're pressed in there. And um, once we got it ground down, it popped right off. So now all we gotta do is grab the gasket off of here. And then we'll kind of use this to match drill to the holes in the firewall. Put that down on there like so. Kind of make sure it somewhat matches to, to this side. mark our holes and then once we drill those I'll be ready to go so I actually saved this gasket I always put the gasket in between the plate and the firewall don't really know if you need it or not but you know I do it anyway so So we're gonna go ahead and weld this bolt on here. Uh, notice the lights are out. Gotta unplug everything in order to weld something until I get my electric. All right, so we got that bolt welded together and this total length is cut to four and a half inches right now. Um, you know, if we gotta cut it shorter, I'll update you guys, but I think it's gonna be all right. So this piece came off of the uh, brake booster and that's what you gotta screw back on there to attach it to the brake pedal. And after that, we'll be ready to go. All right guys, so we got the master cylinder mounted. So here she is mounted up. Uh, the bolts we used for this were an inch and seven eighths and an inch and a half just to be safe make sure you got plenty of length on there you know down here inside the car you got the rod that we made um when you adjust it i mean you want it to have like a little bit of play in it you don't want it to be pressed up against the master cylinder but you can kind of adjust it if you want a little bit of play before it actually engages the plunger that's kind of just your preference so um, I like mine being right up against it, so as soon as I hit the pedal, it's giving me a break, but some people don't like that. All right, the master cylinder is installed, all the bolts are tightened down. Um, now we're gonna bench bleed it. So it's important that you bench bleed it uh, because air gets trapped inside that master cylinder and that can cause your brakes to be soft. It can cause them to not work very well. And guys, I cannot stress how important brakes are in a race car, so. Uh, we always bench bleed it after we mount it to the car. We got some lines set up to, to do that. Uh, we just made them out of some old brake lines that we had laying around. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing bled and then we'll be ready to put the lines on, do a final bleed of all four corners and should be ready to test drive this thing. Stage fright is finally back on the ground. Getting ready to take her on a test rip.
Yeah, let's get her out there, crank her up, see how she runs. <laughs> Look at them skid marks, boy. Dang. What is this thing? Same Man, your, your car comes with a little red rocket. That's right. That's right. That's a, a road flare. Yeah, they're like required over in Japan to be part of the vehicle. Hmm. You know what all that says? Nope. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Got some corn. Some boy ultimate bands. boy bands. What in the heck? <laughs> guys that's gonna be a wrap on today's video we got a lot of things knocked out that we wanted to get taken care of especially on the hatch the hatch is running like a top we've got to take the skyline out reed finally got to drive it yeah that thing absolutely rips i highly recommend it. it's pretty sweet got some big plans for it and uh hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give us a subscribe comment like share what you want to see down below and share it same to your friends that's right hope right. you guys enjoy we'll see y'all later